have you ever asked yourself how an episode of It's Always Sunny would look like if it was directed by Christopher Nolan? <laughs> well, this was more or less, I don't know, if you watch this movie, what did you think about the ending? Because for me, it was an absolute Christopher Nolan moment. Because this episode is called Dennis Mental Health Day. So he goes to the hospital, he gets checked and discovers that he has high blood pressure. And so the doctor tries to subscribe him to some uh, medications, but he goes like, you know what, he has a way of handling it. And so we get Dennis Mental Health Day. I would have not called it Dennis Mental Health Day, I would have called it Dennis versus the system because <laughs> we just follow Dennis trying to have a good day, trying to just chill out, trying to take a vacation, trying to walk away from the gang who are now on his phone calling him to ask him about pressure. You know, like where are they under the pressure? <laughs> They're trying to get a pressure cooker, right? And so they think by <laughs> they think They think that, okay, let me just, without spoiling it for people, they want to create diamond. And they think that the best way to create diamond is to actually pressurize soil. And, and so when you pressurize soil, it becomes diamond. So they go into the pub. This is the gang, the rest of the gang, apart from Dennis. And they try to pressurize. They get a pressure cooker, put soil in it, and then try to cook it up in order for the... <laughs> In order for the soil to turn into diamonds. And so there are a lot of other diamond references within the film. We'll talk about them. But so we get Dennis now. He's trying to, you know, to leave the town so that he can go to the beach and just have an easy day. He gets a, a health app that measures his uh, pressure, his high blood pressure, and a phone. And so he goes to a car rental, tries to get a car, and then they go, they go like, I don't know what's wrong with the car. So he's given, he's given an electric car. And so at first he's like, you know, this car is pretty awesome. But when things move on, things don't go the way he expected. There is an arrest. There is, he loses the phone and then he has to get a replacement for the phone. And each and every time we see him trying to manage himself. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. He was trying to, you know, level out things, but then his psychopathic ways would always come out in one way or the other. So this, so it goes wild. I mean, he loses his phone, goes to the company, and then now he goes into his, you know, Dennis mode. He goes into his psychopathic mode whereby he wants to he wants to go to the company after a certain incident he wants to go to the company and then after going to the company he wants to go and meet the ceo and then he meets the ceo and then something crazy and i believe you've seen it in the social media platforms something that has to do with diamonds something insane happens man something crazy i was like wait what am i watching and then flip back and then boom we go back somewhere else and then we discover that that was something else or was it something just happened that I was like, wow, this is a proper Christopher Nolan moment. You know? And then the episode ends. So I, I love the fact that this was a character study of Dennis. This was a, more in line with, let's focus on Dennis, let's leave the other people are out. I, I don't know if you remember, if you've seen all of a sudden, there's a particular episode that they focused on Charlie. Charlie, uh, and the, the, the gist of that episode was the one take. They followed Charlie everywhere and he was able to like solve all the, the pub's issues um, during an inspection. And so I love the fact that they were able to push everyone away. They were there, but they were pushed away, so we got to actually follow Charlie. And this one, I like the fact that they actually got to spend a lot of time with Dennis. Pop references, there's a song that plays over and over and it just makes you laugh because of the timing. Um, technology, I think it's, um, it's, it's and, and this is the thing about Always Sunny and the way they handle social commentary. It's not on your face. I, I saw Barbie today and I was like, this is perhaps one of the most on your face social commentary I've ever seen. The movie should be called Social Commentary. It should be called Barbie because it's done so poorly. And I was like, why didn't they get the people from Always Sunny to actually you know, do the movie because Old Sunny uses the characters and their characteristic to tell a story that revolves around social commentary, whatever is happening in the society today. And this particular episode went into tech, but instead of going so hard into tech, they focused on Dennis' uh, experience with tech, but also remembering the kind of Dennis, the kind of person that Dennis is, and how 
that comes together and how technology today affects us because there are a lot of Dennis kind of people out there. I mean, we meet them every day. That's why the word road rage exists because there are a lot of Dennis's out there and they get to actually work with technology and use technology every day. And we've seen so many electric cost cars and they have their own challenges. And everyone has a problem when they're trying to get help, especially when you make that call to, to care center or uh, to customer service. You've always had that experience. Dennis was losing his mind, but we all understood it because we've all experienced it. So yeah, I love the way Holy Sunny handles social commentary because it's done in such a way that it's actually funny rather than, oh, look, this, you're not supposed to do this, you're supposed to do this. It, it, it cleverly knows how to handle the social commentary. So yeah, that's basically episode seven or eight, I'm not sure. But um, Dennis Mental Health Day was perhaps one of the most creative of the episodes so far that we've seen in terms of concept what they were able to do at the end and how they were able to present the story uh it's the most technological episode so far that i've seen and yeah i pretty much enjoyed this and, and it affirms you know my belief that dennis is you know is creepy i know we've done 15 seasons and so we all know that but it just keeps elevating the character of dennis so if I was to rate this, I would give this a 4.2 out of 5. I absolutely enjoy it. It's rewatchable. I actually watched it and rewatched it because of the ending, how they were able to do the ending. So this is 4.2 out of 5. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So remember to watch what you enjoy and enjoy what you watch. And um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.